وزیر خارجہ شاہ محمود قریشی سینٹ کے اجلاس سے خطاب کر رہے ہیں آپ کو براہ راست نہیں چلتے that the illegal steps to turn Muslims into a minority in the only Muslim majority area in India are in clear violation of the UN Security Council resolutions, bilateral agreements and international law, including the Fourth Geneva Convention. Strongly condemns extrajudicial killings of Kashmiri youth in fake encounters and cordon and surge operation by the Indian occupation forces as well as arbitrary arrests and detentions of senior Kashmiri leaders and activists. Further condemns the refusal by the Indian occupation forces to hand over mortal remains of the Shohada to their families for proper burial. Also condemn burning and looting of Kashmiri houses to inflict collective punishment on the communities and neighborhoods. Deplores the Indian occupation forces have particularly or completely, partially or completely blinded more than 11,000 Kashmiri civilians, including women and children. Through the deliberate use of pellet guns, shots, with which represent a grave violation of international law and fundamental human rights, denounces the fact that to divert attention from grave human rights violations uh, in Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the Indian occupation forces along the line of control and the working boundary have been continuously targeting civilian populated areas with artillery fire, heavy caliber mortars and automatic weapons committing more than 1800 ceasefire violations this year alone, resulting in 14 shahadats and serious injuries to 139 innocent civilians. Appreciates strong statements of support on the Jammu and Kashmir dispute from world leaders reaffirming the disputed nature of Jammu and Kashmir as well as the international community in particular the United Nations responsibility in seeking a resolution of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute in accordance with the relevant UN Security Council resolutions. Commends. The three discussions on the Jammu and Kashmir dispute in the UN Security Council after a gap of more than 55 years. The two reports on the issue by the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, the consistent support demonstrated by OIC and its human rights body, and the convening of three meetings of the OIC contract group on Kashmir. Applauds several world parliaments, international human rights organizations, as well as the international media who have been vocal in their condemnation of the ongoing military siege, communications blockade, and other restrictions by the Indian occupation forces in the illegally Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Appreciates the visits to Pakistan and Azad Kashmir by the United Kingdom's all-party parliamentary Kashmir group and the OIC Secretary General's uh, special envoy on Kashmir. Stresses that the BJP leaders threatening statements and belligerent rhetoric as well as irresponsible and aggressive Indian actions pose a grave threat to peace, security and stability in South Asia. Sensitizes the world community again about the possibility of false flag operation by India and any ill-considered misadventure. Reaffirms the firm resolve of the people and the armed forces of Pakistan to thwart any act of aggression resolutely and effectively. Underscores that the RSS BJP dispensation in India is driven by the toxic mix of ideology, which is Hindutva, and hegemonic designs, which is Akhand Bharat, 
which pose a serious threat inter alia to the Kashmiri people under Indian occupation, to the minorities in India and to regional peace and stability. Underscores that Jammu and Kashmir is an international dispute and longest outstanding item on the agenda of the UN Security Council and categorically states that illegal steps do not and cannot alter its disputed status. Reaffirms and applauds the inalienable right to self-determination of the people of Jammu and the Senate expressing unflinching unwavering and unstinting solidarity and commitment of the people of Pakistan with the people of illegally Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Pursuant to the above, this House, which is the Senate of Pakistan, demands the Indian government to rescind its illegal acts of August 2019, immediately lift it's in, an inhuman military siege of the illegally Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Stop its illegal measures to change the demographic structure of the occupied territory. Stop extrajudicial killings of Kashmiri youth in fake encounters and cordon and search operations. Release the illegally detained Kashmiri youth and political leadership. Remove restrictions on media, internet and mobile communications, movement and peaceful assembly. Provide access in India, uh, in the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir, to human rights and humanitarian organizations, independent observers and the media. Repeal its draconian laws, including Armed Forces Special Powers Act, Public Safety Act, and Unlawful Activities Prevention, uh, Prevention Act. Withdraw over 900,000 occupation troops from the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir and give Kashmiris their Ill, uh, inalienable right to self determination. Calls upon the international community to use all tools at its disposal to hold India accountable for its illegal and unilateral actions and human rights violations against the Kashmiri people. Pressurize India to adhere to its international human rights obligations and allow international media, humanitarian organizations and independent observers entry into Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir to independently verify reports of abuse, violation and use of excessive force. Urges the UN Human Rights Council to constitute a commission of inquiry to investigate gross and consist consistent human rights violations in the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir being committed by the Indian occupation forces with impunity under the cover of two draconian laws as mentioned above as recommended by the two reports of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights. Reiterates that Pakistan will continue providing all possible support to the Kashmiri people until they achieve their legitimate right to self-determination through a free and impartial plebiscite under the auspices of the United Nations as recognized by the relevant UN Security Council resolutions. Thank you, Mr. Minister. I now put in the UN Security Council after a gap of more than 55 years, the two reports on the issue by the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, the consistent support demonstrated by OIC and its human rights body, and the convening of three meetings of the OIC contract group on Kashmir applauds several world parliaments, international human rights organizations, as well as the international media who have been vocal in their condemnation of the ongoing military siege, communications blockade, and other restrictions by the Indian occupation forces in the illegally Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. 
appreciates the visits to Pakistan and Azad Kashmir by the United Kingdom's all-party parliamentary Kashmir group and the OIC Secretary General's uh, special envoy on Kashmir. Stresses that the BJP leaders threatening statements and belligerent rhetoric as well as irresponsible and aggressive Indian actions pose a grave threat to peace, security and stability in South Asia. Sensitizes the world community again about the possibility of false flag operation by India and any ill-considered misadventure. Reaffirms the firm resolve of the people and the armed forces of Pakistan to thwart any act of aggression resolutely and effectively. Underscores that the RSS BJP dispensation in India is driven by the toxic mix of ideology, which is Hindutva, and hegemonic designs, which is Akhand Bharat, which pose a serious threat in Tralia to the Kashmiri people under Indian occupation, to the minorities in India, and to regional peace and stability. Underscores that Jammu and Kashmir is an international dispute and longest outstanding item on the agenda of the UN Security Council and categorically states that illegal steps do not and cannot alter its disputed status. Reaffirms and applauds the inalienable right to self-determination of the people of Jammu